Sagittarius, and welcome to your March 2020 horoscope. Where Sag, this month I think is such a phenomenal month for you because it gives you some very clear answers to some questions that you've been act asking and also some very clear actions for you to take as well. Now as we do come into the month, I want to give you just a kind of view that we are coming in in a Mercury retrograde. So Sagittarius, if you've been trying to push something forward in your career or push something forward in a project or you've been looking to change a position at work, something like that, remember that Mercury rules over not only your career energy in the general, but also over relationship energy for you. So things are going very, very slowly and they're not going to be pushing forward until you do the work to look at what the retrograde energy is also trying to show you about some foundations that you've got going on. So we'll get to that, but keep that in mind if we're coming as we're coming into the month that that may be something that you're like, why isn't this pushing forward? Why isn't this happening? That may be exactly what you're running into. Now this month as well, Venus is going to come home and move into the energy of Taurus where she is more than comfortable, happy and willing and ready to work for you to also help you in this career area over here or with projects or with your health. Saturn is going to take a step into the energy of Aquarius, which is just a sneak peek of what is to come for you because Saturn acts as a financial planet in your general reading, it's also going to give us an indicator when he moves how you'll make money going forward in this next two years. But you're going to get a sneak peek of what's going to happen between March and July of this year. So we're also going to welcome in the spring equinox. So it's a busy, let's move forward, let's get some information and then put it into action kind of month, especially as we're rounding the corner fully into Aries season. So Ooh, let's get in here and let's talk about what's going on in this cosmic weatherscape. First of all, take notice of the board, right? Majority of the planets that we see are down here. They are on the bottom part of the chart. So what this is telling you is that in your foundations, right, your psychological foundations, your home is still very powerful this month as well as your second house. But in general, your foundations that get you ready, you're getting prepared for your next launching into the public and in new relationships. Your foundations maybe need some work right now. So we've got some questions to answer and get active um, taking action on here in March, okay? So first and foremost, on the 4th, we've got Mercury, who is here in the energy of Pisces, but he's retrograde. He's going to continue his retrograde motion backwards and step back into the energy of Aquarius. Now, this is actually, even though Mercury's retrograde, he's so relieved to come back into the energy of Aquarius because now he can express, he can have facts. It's very hyper communicative, right? There's lots of busyness that may be going on in this particular area. So in the third house, which is all about how we communicate, how we learn things, maybe we're studying something, how we teach something, writing, networking, our siblings, our neighbors, they all live down here and in a Mercury retrograde, especially between two signs, what this is telling me is something is left undone. Something needs your attention in the area of communication or study, right? So keep that in mind as we're walking this forward. What do you need to go back over in this third house? Is there something that you need to study in order to advance you forward? Is there a conversation you need to have with a contractor, with a business, where you need to enter some kind of conversation or agreement or ask advice of somebody who can help move you forward, right? Remember, Mercury also rules over your business and your relationships, your work zone and your relationships. So even if you are not working, if you are retired, you are unemployed, you are just so independently rich, you don't have to. Whatever it is, these are going to stimulate something about the way you communicate and the way you learn and the relationships involved with how those move forward, okay? Also, we're going to have Venus take a shift and move up here into your sixth house with the energy of Uranus. Now, Venus coming home into the energy of Taurus. She's going to be here until April 3rd, so you have quite some time to work with this energy, and she stays forward motion the entire time she's in Taurus. So this is delicious forward possibility for you. With Venus and Uranus coming together, this is a surprising, brilliant, but very magnetic energy for you to work with. Being here in the sixth house, which is all about health, 
your physical health of your physical body. I also put mental health in there. What's happening with the conversation up here in your head, right? Do you need to go to the gym? Do you need to be more serious and look over this diet, this exercise, how you're showing up? Are you getting on that yoga mat? Whatever is right for you, you're going to get a snap of brilliance as to how to make that better and make this area more magnetic for you. You'll also probably have some money to take care of whatever you need to take care of in that health zone. The sixth house is also over work and job projects and co-workers. So again, I bring you back to this thought, especially around moving projects out into the world. Mercury's retrograde in a communication sector. Venus has moved over here with very surprising, do it different, let's innovate Uranus in your sixth house. Is it possible, Sagittarius, that yes, you are applying for these jobs, yes, you're applying for the grant, yes, you're trying to study something, and what you're doing is not energetically sound for where you are right now in your life, and you need to innovate this area. Try something very different from what you've been doing, right? If you're putting out a resume, you're dropping those off, you're digitally sending them, When's the last time you updated that resume and who's looked over it? Have you gotten any feedback, right? This could be a beautiful time for some feedback which could eliminate how hard you may be working. If it's a project you're taking on at home, have you talked to a contractor or are you just out there doing everything yourself, right? This is a time where you can gather information but you have to take action, get some suggestions, get some feedback that ultimately help you get ready to launch out in the world. So I think this is a beautiful energy. now. Venus is still Venus, okay? You could be at the gym, you could be at the doctor, whatever, and Venus could bring a little love into your life if that's something you're willing and ready to welcome. And furthermore, that person maybe has something to do with medicine or health or wellness in some way, shape, or form. In the sixth house, you're going to be very much so attracted to those types of people. So keep me posted down below how that looks for you. All right, on the 9th, we're going to have a full moon that's happening in the energy of Virgo. Now, this is up here in your 10th house. On the same day, Mercury is going to come out of retrograde. So we've got the combination of a full moon and a planet stationing into a new direction. This can be a little bit of a bumpy day, but ultimately, it's very revealing as well. The full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or make an adjustment to this particular area, right? Now, in your career zone in who you are out in the world, what you're known as, because this is not just your career. Are you a volunteer in the community and we know you, we see you? Are you married and we know you as Miss or Mr. whomever? What we know you as in public, something is being revealed to you. There are adjustments that maybe need to be made. Maybe there's work that's coming to a close. Sag, is it time for you to retire? Right? Congratulations if you've made it there. What adjustments is this moon showing you? Whatever adjustments need to be made. In the energy of Virgo, what it's going to do is say, okay, we don't have to end everything all at the same time. Let's take it piecemeal. We'll do it a little bit at a time so that we can get to the goal of where we're going next. You have to just put one foot in front of the other. Now, I've also told you, in regards to career, Mercury now direct is still going to be very helpful to establishing new relationships that later help you in business or establishing relationships that you already have and then they benefit you down the road in business as well. The third house says, who do you know? Who do you know? Are you networking, right? So keep that in mind as you travel with that, all right? All right. On the 16th, what we're going to see is Mercury is not only out of retrograde, but now he's back in forward motion. So your fourth house becomes a house of power again. Now the fourth house is home, family, real estate, property, women in your life, your own psychological foundations live in the fourth house as well. So with Mercury moving back into the energy of Pisces, it can still continue to feel a little bit like a Mercury retrograde because Mercury's not in full power here, right? He has to drop out of the intellect and just into the intuition. So this could be feeling a little bit challenging, but more so than that, with Neptune direct, the sun shining bright, and Mercury direct, I think in your fourth house, what you may be doing is intuitively making changes to make your space, which your, your body, your heart, your soul, this is the first space you live in, and then you look to your home, then you look to your relationships. You're making your space more intuitively aligned, right? Does this look like maybe you want to redecorate? 
Um, maybe you want to move your furniture around. Maybe you want to move some psychological ideas around. Maybe you've been having enough realization that you've got to have conversation or you've got to study something a little bit more when Mercury was ret retrograde and you're breathing that in here and you're ready to take some action. This could certainly bring a change from your fourth house, which is getting you ready again to launch up into your tenth house, okay? Ooh, even. Could this be that you are realigning your home to be able to work from home, to produce content from home in some way, shape, or form? That's very exciting Okay, as well. on the 20th, we see the sun hitting the road, moving into the energy of Aries lighting up your fifth house. Now, the sun is light, heat, life, vitality. You are motivated under this energy, and Aries is a cardinal sign, and Aries is our warrior, right? So you're going to want to do stuff here. Now, as the sun lights up this area of your life, and it brings us into the spring equinox, it is a new season, Sagittarius, right? You are so optimistic. Breathe this time in. Your next season is beginning. You are a part of this shift in life. So whatever has been, hopefully you have looked at it. You have acknowledged it during this retrograde, and you're ready because we have full permission to move forward here in March. So hopefully you're ready to take some actions that look different than what you were doing before. Unless you want to continue to get what you already had, some different actions are available to you and one of them involves joy. What brings you joy? What makes you want to play? What makes you happy? What is your expression of Sagittarius in your life? For many of my Sag friends, I think something you're going to be doing is genuinely coming into your own voice, coming into your own expression, right? So I think that's so brilliant. Now, whatever you do with this sun over here, make it big, make it beautiful, and be in motion. Go for it. This is your new season. Now, also, what we're going to have is Jupiter and Mars together in conjunction over here in your second house. Now, Jupiter and Mars, when they come together, they are courageous, right? Please circle this day on your calendar. They are courageous and they say, go for it. Let's take initiative. Let's jump. Let's move, right? So you've got the sun going, ah, I love to work like this. Oh, I love this idea. Oh my God, my kids are in a new position in their life. Let's go for it. Maybe you want to make money a different way. This is a beautiful connection of energy, right? Especially if you've networked or learned something else and formed some relationships that can help you move forward. You see, this board just lights up with opportunities for you to take advantage of getting out of any rut that you're in or really making bigger the energy you would like to be abundant in your life. So mark that on your calendars. The 20th is go for it day, okay? On the 21st, we're going to see Saturn moving out of the energy of Capricorn and moving into the energy of Aquarius. In traditional astrology, Saturn rules Aquarius as well. So he's as equally comfortable here as he is in the energy of Saturn or in Capricorn, excuse me. So Capricorn, though, we see him be grounded in the material world. It's very concrete. Saturn moving into the energy of Aquarius is going to start to be a little bit more intellectual. We're going to form things in a bigger way, but it looks to connect us to other people, to other ideas, to how we share information. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, Saturn, your second house in the general reading only, is ruled by Capricorn, who's ruled by Saturn. So this is a financial planet for you in your chart. So as your financial planet and teacher moves into your third house, it gives me the indication that the way that you will make money in the years to come, you're going to get a sneak peek of it from March to July, but then December for the next two years, the way that you're going to make money is very much so in a way that has tech. Um, you're going to do things that have to do with connecting people. Maybe you have to do a lot of networking and you have to get serious about it because Saturn says, hey, you got to get serious in this area. Maybe you have got to study to advance, right? Because you may want to be in a different position, but if you're not employable in that different position because you don't have the skills, you can want all you want and that is not going to be what happens. You maybe have to study, right? Are you trying to push and do it all on your own? This may tap you into some very serious, positive connections for yourself. I also think, too, if you've been thinking about writing that book or putting that blog out, this is an energy that will help you say, yeah, get serious about it. Sit down. Let's do it because there's magic just waiting for this to happen. Now, also, as we end this month, Mars will move into this third house with Saturn. So you've definitely got some go juice. You've got forward motion. You've got power. You've got movement and energy. Um, 
at, at your feet. Now what I will tell you too in the third house, I want you to be mindful of just doing so much thinking. Make sure you get that physical energy out of your body as well because Mars is very physical. It's a lot of energy. Don't hold it to your insides. Allow that to be released as well, okay? Now on the 24th, we're going to give Aries a little birthday present and they'll have a new moon happening over here in the fifth house. So your fifth house will again be supported to move forward. At the new moon, we plant our seeds of intention for giving something a fresh start or giving it new movement. So here in the fifth house, your joy, your self-expression, your new project, your new venture, something with your children, whatever it is, it says initiate, go. Let's move. So in your foundations for this month, you are supported to make some changes, have some conversations, right? And to take action to the things that are going to not only create a solid foundation for you, but help you as your planets begin to move into a very public space on your chart. So I think it's going to be a very useful month. Take advantage of doing some things different if you've been feeling stuck. If you've been feeling like the world is so good, please nobody mess up my vibe, then just enjoy getting to go a little bit deeper in these energies this month, okay? Whatever is manifesting for you, I hope you will leave it in the comment section down below so I can check in and peek on you, all right? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month. Bye!